What's going on, boys and vagina havers? It's Zero X Eleven, aka Big Daddy Wiener Man, and I am here, as promised, doing a Call of Booty submission video. Not like submission, like wrestling submission, where I get you in a headlock and I make you a tap. Not that kind of submission. Not the kind of submission where I dress you up in a gimp suit and beat you with a whip on your butt. Until it's red. Smack that ass. No, this is a submission that I am sending to Mr. Phantasmo. Or what you guys can do is you can just go over and be like, hey, Phantasmo, go check out Zero's video. Really funny. You guys need to collab. Because that's that's my overall mission here. That's my submission audition. Dr. Seuss up in this bitch. The cat in the hat. Not to be confused with the hat and the cat, which was a pornographic, bestialic version of the cat and the hat. It's just the hat got caught in the cat. The cat's vagina. Anyways, uh, so you guys sent me in a bunch of questions so I could uh, kind of answer them uh, like he does over on his channel. Uh, these guys sent him in questions about girls and then he, he answers uh, a few of them. Uh, instead, I'm just going to answer all of them because I don't get a lot of questions over on my channel. You guys usually just kind of say random things like, cat dick. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's that's cool. I don't know what to say to cat dick, you know. So, um, yeah, without further ado, I present to you the Call of Booty audition video or submission video. I don't know. What, what would you call this? Submission? I guess it's like a submission, although he's not asking for submissions or auditions. Oh well, let's just do it anyways. Let's let's get this over with. All right. So first question, I'm gonna go by the most recent, work my way down to uh, the very first question that was asked. Probably should do it the other way around, but who cares? I'll get to them all. I don't care how long the video is. I'll just put some black screen up and put some funny subtitles or pictures that you can look at while you're listening to my voice. Wow, I'm wasting your time. Okay, so dude, I have a small alien named Neil which it could be Niall, I guess, because he spelled it N-I-E-L. Niall, right? That's Niall. I don't know. Who lives in my right testicle and don't know whether to tell my parents or smash my bullock with a hammer. Congrats on using bullock in a sentence. That's, that's pretty impressive, i got to be honest. What should I do? Oh, and don't just ignore me, man. It's a serious problem. Okay, well, I can see that this is a serious problem because, uh, first of all, you're in denial that uh, you have a tumor on your testicle that you're calling an alien. Uh, what I would recommend is going to a doctor and having your tumor, your cancerous tumor that's on your testicle, removed. It doesn't talk to you, and it's not an alien. Get with the program. Okay, so next question. I have a few questions for you. Great, I love multiple question questions. Is it okay if I substitute my usual dildo with a giant cucumber instead? Have you tried this before? As for a girl question, is it true that girls don't get boners? And also I read that if you have sex in a tree regardless of protection, irregardless of protection, she cannot get pregnant. I really need some help, man. Comes in from Poofessor. The last question, by the way, was from Vipus. I want to give you guys kind of like a shout out to um, Zero Vipus Zero was the first question. Wow, I'm I'm just totally professional. Okay, so uh, to get with uh, Professor's questions here, which a lot of you guys probably know, Professor, he has a channel over here on YouTube. Uh, as for substituting the dildo with a giant cucumber, no, I've never not I've never tried this before. I heard fruit play can be dangerous. I heard some I heard some bad things about hot dogs because hot dogs, um, as you know, can break. And cucumbers can even break, but they are a little bit sturdier. So I say if you're into food play, a giant cucumber or even a watermelon or pumpkin would probably be your best bet. Uh, you just got to remember with cucumbers, you don't want to leave them up there because they can pickle. And you don't want to pickle up your butt or vaginal orifice, I suppose. Uh, as for the girl question about uh, boners, can girls get boners? Um, yes, they can. They can actually get nipple boners. Uh, whenever it's cold, they get those. They just poke right out of their shirts, and you got to be careful because they can poke an eye out. 
Um, question about sex. I'm a little sick, so my voice is a little crackly, like a pre pu pu pubescent pubescent pubescent. I haven't hit puberty. Um, uh, can you can you get pregnant if you have sex in a tree? Irregardless of protection. Um, Yes, you can actually still get pregnant if you have sex in a tree. Bats do it all the time, and they hang upside down, which is the only way that I could see this not working. But uh, actually try this, and now I am uh, paying child support. Uh, so, yes, I, I had to go into uh, some, um, uh, do some experimenting for myself, and uh, I did the investigation for you, and yes, she had triplets, and life's a bitch. Okay, so zero does size really matter to girls coming in from behemoth king yes girls hate fat guys it's true they are just they are racist to fat people it sucks it's true so size does matter zero what kind of cereal do you hate so much that you would dump a girl over liking it sanius wants to know well sanius uh scoop away fresh step uh, any girl that eats that stuff, which is actually not cereal, it's kitty litter, um, would get dumped. But anybody that would mistake that. As for other cereal, um, you know, I'm not a big fan of Rice Krispies, although they do make noise when you eat them, which is kind of disturbing if you think about it. Yeah, I don't want my cereal talking to me. I feel like I'm eating people. Okay. Next question, FPS Phantasma wants to know, and this one's a long one. I feel like this is going to be my longest commentary ever. I have a great question. Okay, so my best friend and I tell each other everything, and I mean everything. And his sister likes me, and I kind of like her. And you might be thinking that he doesn't want me to date her, but that's not it. He wouldn't mind me dating her, but I am worried that me talking to her will kind of put a block between me and him, so I don't know what to do. What do you think? P.S. I love you and Mr. Phantasmo so much. No homo. I don't know about that. And I hope you get on the call of booty. Okay. Thank you for the, the compliments. And yes, I hope I get on there too. That's why I'm doing this video. Um, so your friend doesn't mind you dating her, and, uh, his sister, and uh, everything seems good and great. Um... This might seem like uh, crappy advice, but I would I would uh, try not to do this because one of the things that I know about uh, friends and their sisters are they're like one another a lot of the time. Sometimes they look alike, which is the creepiest. And I mean, every time that you make out with this guy's sister, you're going to be thinking of your friend, which you might anyways because... Some of the things that they do might be similar. Maybe they, I don't know, scratch their ass the same way. Maybe they um, order food the same way. Maybe they talk the same way. I don't know. But somewhere, somehow, you're going to like kind of compare the two when you're dating this girl. And you're going to feel like a, a full-on homo. And maybe that's not a good thing for you. I don't know. Or maybe, maybe that is a good thing for you. I don't know. I don't know your preference. Maybe you like, maybe you can get a three-way going. I, I see where I just took this question. I took it and blew it out of proportion. And maybe I shouldn't have done that. But um, uh, just beware. Just beware that this is going to happen. And you're going to compare the sister to the brother. And then you're the, the, your friend there is, is going to be upset that you dumped this girl. And one of the reasons that you actually dumped this girl, and you'll probably make up a different excuse, is because um, she was too much like him. And you felt like you were dating him. And then he'll say something like, I'm not good enough for you? Which is just going to come off as homoerotic by itself. So, yeah. Think about that. Some issues there. Some issues. All right. Jazz Zero Z. Or Jazzaz. Jazzaz. That sounds like jizz. Anyways, Xerox 11, and this is a serious question. How can you get over a relationship? I hate it when people say, find another girl or get drunk or time heals, and this is kind of cliche lines. I think he means in these kind of cliche lines. Um, how can someone actually forget about a person whom he loved? Amnesia. Yep, just bang your head against the wall really hard a few times, and you won't remember anything. But uh, on a safer route... Um, 
honestly, time does heal, man. Uh, you just get over things. Um, you might still think about it, but, uh, you know, picking up another girl, which, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, you call that cliche, but honestly, that's what you got to do. Um, you just got to find somebody that's better or at least can be better. And it, it's hard at first because you don't know that person like maybe you knew the girl. Uh, that you really liked or loved or whatever and um, it, yeah it's it's a little difficult at first but um, you know maybe a few dips into vagina town and you'll be you'll be set you know I'm I'm a shallow <laughs> I'm a shallow asshole okay so but seriously I, th I think that'll work I'm originaler wants to <laughs> it's a very original name Sorry, I had to give that Kid Cudi reference after I read the description for the video. He's referring to my last video. I don't really have any questions related to the Call of Duty, but since I sort of ended up on the topic of music, do you have any songs you use to set the mood? Um, if you look up Tenacious D, Fuck Her Gently, that sets the mood every time. And, and, kind of makes me wonder where this Zanzibar is. You know, I just kind of want to order some food from Zanzibar. Okay, so I like an older girl than me, but I don't know if she likes me. What should I do? X Fruity Smoothie One wants to know. Well, Fruity, I wish you kind of gave me more info of this, um, because I really have nothing to work off. So you like an older girl? You don't know what to do to find out if she likes you? Um, I'm just, you know, I'm going to go out on a limb, and this is going to be a stretch here. And you, you're going to think, well, you're crazy. You're crazy. Um, you could ask her, you could ask her, I know, I know, it seems, it seems nuts, but what's this world coming to? Okay, so I always pass this cute girl in the hall at school. Problem is, we're going the opposite way and the hall is pretty crowded. Any tips on how to approach this girl without seeming like a total creep? P.S. Good luck with the phantasmal thing. Seeing the two of you in a dual com would be so amazing. I agree with this guy, and he's a doctor, Dr. Reefer. Um, okay, well, Doc, I made a t-shirt for you, and I'm going to post it up on the screen here. Take a look at this. Okay, I hope you can read it, first of all. If you can't, I'll have to send you a link of the description. Or, uh, yeah, a link of the description. I am a total noob. I am a total noob. Uh, I'll have to send you a link to where you can actually buy this shirt. It is actually buyable. And if you guys like it as well, um, let me know. All you got to do is inbox me. Send me a message and be like, I really want that shirt. Sure. And I can put I can put something on the back of it, like 0x11, to uh, let people know that you're a loser and you watch my videos. I don't know. No, but um, no, I mean, it, it's it's a shirt that I made for, for you, Dr. Reefer. And um, it, it, honestly, I, I could make that purchasable for you. So let me know. Let me know. I'm not trying to make any profit off of it. I'm just trying to help you with your problem. And uh, this shirt solves the problem completely. So hope you like your shirt. Okay, so Justin Maple says, I had sex four times yesterday that is not really a question, but I just wanted everyone to know. So, to answer your question, Justin, which is a good question, uh, no, masturbation is not a form of sex. So, you had sex zero times yesterday. Sorry, I couldn't resist that one. You put it out there, Justin. You did. Like you, I, had to, I had to bust your ball somewhere. Okay. Last question. Can you believe that we made it? I don't even know how long we've been running this, this shindig. 13 minutes. Holy shit balls. I can't get back to my page now. Noob. Sorry. Sorry, Phantasmo. I'm, tr I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Nervous. Shaking a little bit. All right. I have a penis. What do I use it for? Mike ID 100 wants to know. Mike. Mike it. Mike it 100. I have a penis. What do I use it for? Uh, well, that's a good question, Mike, and I think is probably. Uh, goes right up there with some of more of life's important questions. Uh, to be honest with you, a penis is used for urinating. Number one, I think that's that's really important. Reproduction, if you want to make um, other people, I guess. You want to make some new people? Reproduct it. Re use your wiener to reproduct. Reproduce. Oh, my knee, my knee crack. Um, 
my knee crack. I have a knee crack where it's, it looks like a, no, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm just going to continue on with the commentary. Um, you can do the reproducing, the urinating, both good things and, uh, should be done with the, the penis. And also if you get very creative, the penis can be used for a lot of different things. Um, with an erection can totally be a, a, a towel holder or a coat rack. Somebody could hang a coat or a towel on your erect penis. Also, with an erect penis, it can become a catapult. All you got to do is put something on the tip of the penis, flick it down, flick it back up. Well, actually, it just flicks back up on its own. Oh, and, and it will catapult whatever was on it up into the air. And I, I heard this on a, on a comedy sketch. I believe it was Dane Cook. Uh, he can catch things in his mouth from catapulting. So, might want to check that out. Not like actually look up videos for it. That'd be weird. But if you want to try it yourself, you go ahead and try that. So, that is all the questions and that is all the time that I have for today. Um, no, actually, what time is it? I could probably just give you another video. Well, if there's a few, uh, I know I have another video that's like eight minutes, so I'll probably do a double feature. Double feature Call of Booty episode with 0x11. Great stuff. Although I just, I completely copied my buddy, Phantasma. But, um, the dog's barking outside. I don't want him to ruin my commentary, so... Actually, it's a she. <laughs> dog's gonna be so pissed when I see it now. Uh, so I'm gonna peace on out. And I'll give you two gameplays, since this is the longest gameplay ever, or commentary ever. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed Phantasmal. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you consider my offer that I, I want to be in a future Call of Booty. And um, I'll see you guys next time, so peace.